Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the Inkis List Retinal Zone. Now at first I want to share with you some general information, I want to go over the time of use, a frequency guide, example skincare routines and what you have to avoid and then I want to share with you the application on my face. Now, this is a great and a gentle anti-aging zone that can help you to improve concerns such as fine lines and wrinkles, textured skin and an uneven skin tone. And you're going to use it in your evening skincare routine only. Now, this retinal zone contains 1% of Retistar, which is about 0.05% of retinol. It also contains 0.5% of Gwenactive Retinoid, which is a newer version of retinoid, has similar benefits like anti-aging benefits than retinol can give you but with less irritation and it contains some hydrating and soothing ingredients such as hyaluronic acid and squalane just a couple to mention and so this makes it an all skin type anti-aging zone and so when being new to retinol in general my best advice would be start off slowly do not overdo it because retinol often can give you a delayed response now, in this specific case, since it is very gentle, you may come away with if you're going to use it every other day for some time and then increase it fairly quickly uh, up to daily in your evening skincare routine. But if you're being completely new to retinol and you have no idea how your skin is going to respond to it, then my best advice would be start off by using it two to three times per week in your evening skincare routine, such as Monday and Friday or Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Do this frequency for two to three weeks to see how your skin is doing with it. If everything is fine you can either keep on going with that frequency or slowly increase it and then use it every other day if that's fine for several weeks then you go up up to daily if you should feel the need now, I do want to emphasize that if you come across sensitivity such as redness, sunburn feeling, weird looking pimples or even peeling or sometimes like excessive dryness, then those are signs that you need to reduce the frequency, that you went too fast for what your skin can tolerate, like your skin needs time to adjust to it. And so if that happens, it may not happen right away, as I already mentioned, it can give you a delayed response. So when doing a certain frequency, let's say you're going to use it every other day or every day very quickly for some time, then you may not notice it during the first week, but you do the second week. And this are then those are basically the signs that you are trying to like reduce by adjusting the frequency over time and going up in stages so that you can see how your skin is going to respond to it. And so the frequency is an important key point if you come across sensitivity that you know that you need to reduce the frequency of it. And so when using it in your evening skincare routine, I have prepared for you some example skincare routines so that you can see it visually, that you have an idea of how you can set it up accordingly to your skin type, your needs, and um, if you are going to use it along with other skincare products. So let's say you have combination to oily skin, where your skin tends to be a bit more oilier than dry, especially if you have combination skin. Then you're going to benefit from the retinol because retinol can make the skin less oily. So let's say you have extremely oily skin, you're going to use the retinol zone, you feel like, yeah, well, it's going to balance my oiliness. Then you can keep the routine very simple by just washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser for your skin type. You may want to do a double cleanse, then rinse it off, pat the skin dry, and then use your retinol serum, and that's basically it. This is how simple you can keep it. However, if you have a combination skin that's leaning a bit more towards a drier side, or if you have already like a dry skin from the very beginning on, and then you need to keep an eye on how your skin is going to respond to your retinol. So let's say you have a combination skin where the skin is sometimes a bit drier. If you should come across excessive dryness, then adding a moisturizer um, if you should feel the need after some time, go ahead and do so. However, if you have already dry skin from the very beginning, my best advice would be following with a moisturizer afterwards. And then again, the, simp like the routine can still be very simple, but just washing your face with a gentle cleanser, again, you may want to do a double cleanse, then use your retinol zone and then follow with a moisturizer that's suitable for your skin type and needs. And so those are two very simple, straightforward example skincare routines, which you can adjust depending on your skin type. But when it comes to adding other skincare products to this skincare routine, then all what you have to uh, be aware of is please do not use exfoliating acid products in the same routine when using your retinol. Now, 
if you say, well, I have a hydrating and soothing tone at home or hydrating zone or maybe a nice cinnamide at home, alpha butane, just a few to mention, you're fine to use them all together as long as it is not an exfoliating acid product. So again, that's why I mentioned use a gentle cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and needs. May want to do a double cleanse. Then follow with your hydrating and soothing toner or zone if you have one at home. Then let's say you have another zone at home such as niacinamide or alpha butane, then this would be the next step. And then add your retinol afterwards. And then your retinol can either be the last step in your evening skincare routine or follow with a moisturizer afterwards, depending on your skin type and needs. And so this would be, for example, um, an order of application that you can follow if you have niacinamide or alpha butane at home. When it comes to several treatments that you want to use in the same routine, um, then basically layer them from the thinnest to the thickest texture. That's my best advice. Your cleanser is always going to be your first step. Your moisturizer in the evening is always going to be your last step if you're going to use it. Otherwise, it's going to be your retinal product. And so when now say, well, I have an exfoliating acid product at home, this can be an exfoliating acid mask, a cleanser, or even a leave-on exfoliant, then my best advice would be do not use them in the same routine, keep them separate. And especially when being new to retinol, my best advice would be do not use any exfoliating acids during the first, like let's say three to four weeks, when still trying to figure out how retinol is going to deal with your skin. Because uh, retinol can give you a delayed response and if already when using retinol on its own causes you some sensitivity then adding an exfoliant in that same week of your skincare routine won't make it any better because retinol and exfoliating acids they do not conflict with each other but it can lead to excessive dryness and to some degree sensitivity and so therefore it's always advised to keep them separate so let's say you're being new to it use a retinol product alone on its own for at least three weeks like um, in, in case you have another exfoliating acid product at home, then just use the retinol on, alone. And then after that, you ha and once you have figured out how your skin is like reacting to your retinol, then you can slowly add an exfoliant in that same week of your evening or morning skincare routine. And then if you do so, let's say you have an exfoliating acid cleanser, you can use that one, for example, in the morning and your gentle cleanser with your retinol in the evening. If you now say, well, I have a leave-on exfoliant, um, then go ahead and use that one on days. Best would be in your evening skincare routine when not using your retinol. So if you're using on Monday your retinol, use on Tuesday your exfoliant, then on Wednesday your retinol, then on Thursday your exfoliant, so that you can alternate between them. Of course, you need to adjust the frequency accordingly to your skin, because if you're using your exfoliant and your retinol too often, it still can cause sensitivity, even though you haven't used them in the same routine. And then one last more the thing that I do want to emphasize is with an exfoliating acid mask, if you're going to use that one, let's say once a week in your evening skincare routine, then please do not use your retinol in that same routine when doing the mask. So you can follow with your retinol the next day, but do not use it in that same evening. And so this would be it, for example, skincare routines and what you have to avoid as evening skincare routines. But what you have to keep in mind is that um, it can make the skin sensitive to the sun. So when using your retinol zone in your evening skincare routine due to how it works, since it um, speeds up the cell turnover, so the dead skin cells are basically falling off the skin, the new skin cells are underneath, they aren't... Um, as like say stable to protect your skin from getting sunburned so therefore sun protection during daytime is important so when using your retinol in the evening you're going to leave it on the skin the next day when you wake up wash your face with your cleanser then continue with your rest of your skincare routine if you have one and then use your sunscreen at the end of your morning skincare routine to protect the skin so that's really important to keep in mind when playing around with different products and adjusting your skincare routine accordingly to your needs and skin type. And so this is it, what I wanted to share with you when it comes to example skincare routines. You can download them in the description box down below and use them as a guide if you find them helpful. But for now, I really want to keep my focus on um, an evening routine when working with your retinol zone. And I'm going to keep it very simple since I want to keep my focus on the retinol alone. And this is by just washing your face with a gentle cleanser, retinol moisturizer if you should feel the need. So again, you're going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face using a suitable and gentle cleanser for your skin type and needs. You can go ahead and do a double cleanse if you usually do this to remove sunscreen and or makeup from the skin. But of course, 
You do not have to if it isn't water resistant or waterproof and your daily gentle cleanser can take it off. Then go ahead and use your gentle cleanser that's suitable for your skin type and needs. Your cleanser should not dry out your skin nor irritate your skin in any way. And so in this example I have said that it's daily facial cleanser, for example great for combination to oily sensitive skin or the ink is laced out cleansing balm which is great for all skin types but it's very hydrating and soothing so if you have a drier skin type this would be an option as well. Of course, course if you have a different cleanser at home go ahead and use that one it should not dry out not irritate your skin and then make sure that you're going to read on the back of the packaging on how you should use your cleanser because the directions can change depending on the cleanser that you're using in this case i'm going to apply the ingus list of cleansing balm on slightly damp skin so i'm going to wet it a bit with lukewarm water to warm water then i'm going to use a bit of the cleanser message on to slightly wet skin and then we are going to rinse it off with water if your cleanser does say use it on dry skin then of course apply it on dry skin immediately go ahead use a bit of the cleanser in the palm of your hand about a coin size amount or about one to two pumps and use it between your hands and then gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now, I do want to emphasize, please make sure to read on the back of the packaging if you can use your cleanser around the eyes or if you should avoid it. If it does not mention anything at all, you probably can use it around the eyes, but if you have a sensitive eye area, please avoid it and make sure to not get it into your eyes. So, and once you have massaged your cleanser all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and rinse it off with lukewarm water to warm water. You can only use your hands, however, if you should have troubles removing it, I recommend using a fresh and soft washcloth, which you can wet, and this can help you to remove the cleanser a bit better. So now go ahead and take a fresh tone and pat the skin dry. Now once you're done with washing your face, you have pat the skin dry, you now can immediately move on to your retinol application. However, if you now have a hydrating and soothing toner at home or zone or other treatments, then you're going to use them before you're going to apply your retinol zone. So after you have washed your face, you're going to apply your hydrating and soothing toner or hydrating zone, apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin. Wait 30 seconds to a minute in between and then continue with another treatment if you have one, such as niacinamide or alpha butin. Apply Apply it on the skin, leave it on the skin, wait 30 seconds to a minute and then move on to your retinol application. So again, you can adjust it accordingly to what you may have at home, but it's fine to immediately move on to the retinol product itself if you do not have such products that you want to use in an evening skincare routine. And so when applying the retinol zone to the skin, you can apply it evenly all over. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes and please do not use it on top of your eyelids. You can use the is this retinol zone on the eye contour. I just recommend being careful with the like corner of your eyes because that sometimes can be quite sensitive and lead to dryness and wetness fairly quickly. If that should be the case, space it out. So give your skin a bit of a break on the eye contour and maybe use it less often as you would use it all over your face. But I do want to emphasize that the ink is list does not emphasize that you can use it on the eye contour, but due to the low percentage, it is possible that you can use it. But if you have an extremely sensitive eye area or you prefer to use a retinol eye cream instead, which is meant for the eye area, then of course you can go ahead and use, for example, the ink is list retinol eye cream around the eyes to get those anti-aging benefits, which is gentler. It contains a different version of retinol that is less irritating. And so when using an eye cream and your retinol zone in the same routine if that's a routine that you want to follow then you can use the retinol eye cream either before or after the application of your retinol zone so again you can adjust it accordingly but i do want to keep my focus on the retinol zone as well and so when applying it to the skin use about a pea size amount in the palm of your hand
about that much, more or less. And then rub your hands together and then gently and evenly apply it all over your face and neck. Again, please do not use it on top of your eyelids nor get it into your eyes. So again, you can use it on the eye contour. Please do not bring it too close to the eye corner when doing so. And then evenly blend it all over. And once you have applied it all over your face and neck, again, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. And now you can give it 30 seconds to a minute in between if you don't want to follow on with a moisturizer. However, if you don't, then the retinol product is your last step in your evening skincare routine. And so when, like thinking of using a moisturizer or because you have a drier skin type, of course, go ahead, follow with a moisturizer. Use one that's suitable for your skin type and needs and use about a pea size amount more or less on your fingertips or dip in with your fingers in your moisturizing jar so that you're going to use enough to apply all over your face and neck. And and you're going to use your moisturizer on top of your retinol serum. So, and once you have applied your moisturizer all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin. Now again, I do want to emphasize I just have an even thin layer of my moisturizer on because I do not suffer from like extremely dry skin. However, if you have a moisturizer that's more suitable for like dry skin to very dry skin, if that's one of your skin types, then of course go ahead and use such moisturizers. You probably want to use a bit more of it so that you have like a thicker protective layer all over so that you're not going to come across such extreme dryness and then again once you have applied it then there you have it your moisturizer is going to be your last step in your evening skincare routine when including one now again i do want to quickly emphasize that during daytime when being exposed to the sun don't forget to follow with sunscreen even though you have used your retinol in your evening skincare routine sunscreen during daytime is important otherwise you can end up with a sunburn very quickly now, I do want to emphasize that when working with retinol, please keep in mind that you should not use a retinol or retinoid if you're currently being pregnant or breastfeeding. So keep this in mind when setting up a skincare routine. And again, I do want to remind you that if you find those example skincare routines helpful, which I have shared with you earlier in the video, you can download them in the description box down below. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed this video, that you find it helpful. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to know more about skincare and the ways on how you can apply certain skincare products such as from the Inkist list I'm going to leave some videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one happy skincaring bye